Hey y'all, uh, I'm going to shoot a little video today, uh, got me a couple of couple of new toys that uh, a few of my buddies on here are using and I had to break down and get them. So, uh, but anyway, um, I built this little turnaround so we can park and uh, have plenty of room in our driveway also. Built this probably about maybe 12, 15 years ago uh, out of uh, treated uh, four before and uh, well actually they're uh, actually uh, uh, landscape timbers and ran me a four inch uh, drain underneath of it and then had Carl and his brother delivered me some of this gravel a while back so over time of course you know we, we try to keep it uh, painted with uh, uh, stain like the same colors we stain the deck and uh, but uh, it remained in pretty good shape however we had some numb nut come through here the other night and hit it and knocked it completely completely down. So what I'm going to have to do now is uh, run up and get me some more timbers and I'll frame this back in. I'll post it up there, but this time on this side of it, I'm going to post it probably three or four posts all the way down it. So next time they hit it, whoever hit it, I'm sure has got a pretty good uh, little chunk missing out of their car. But uh, next time they hit it, uh, I don't think they're going to be going anywhere. But uh, anyway, too, on this hole here where it drains, this is uh, slowly eroding over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get all this residual dirt out. And then I'll take and I'll wet it down uh, and, you know, kind of smooth it out with my hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wheelbarrow and some concrete. And I'm going to make my own trench here, a concrete trench, and it'll keep the erosion from... Uh, continuing but uh, anyway I uh, just thought I might share that with you I'm not uh, for a thing too pleased about that so anyway reckon I'll uh, get up here and I'll show you some of the new toys I got Eddie's talking about coming out today we might uh, do a few tests today uh, he's got the day off we might ride up and get something to eat and chill out for a little bit today but uh, anyway let me get after it y'all I uh, broke out my vacuum pump again I'm sure y'all want to see all this again but uh, anyway I just thought I might share this with some of the fellas that might and ladies that might uh, own the JB DV 200 in 7 CFM half horsepower motor two-stage um, reason we did this if y'all remember back when me and Eddie were shooting uh, the vacuum series and uh, uh, vacuum simplified we didn't show behind the scenes here um, this is a great pump. I've had it since uh, March of uh, 2003, so I guess she's what, eight, nine years old here. But uh, like I said, behind the scenes, whenever we were hooking up my, my half inch Appions to it, um, whoever came out with this, see the feet on this, as I say feet is plural, um, it's a teeter-totter, man. Look, that thing will pop over, lay over on you so fast it'll make your head spin. So. Uh, after we got done shooting our video, uh, Eddie called me back up and said he'd got online on the JB site, so I hopped on there with him, and uh, we found it. They still make this uh, DV200M. Uh, I believe it's under the name of, uh, I don't think it's Eliminator. Uh, I think it might be Terminator or something like that. I'm not positive. It's the one step up from that one. But uh, like I said, it's got these feet on it, and they're just, look, I mean, you're asking to damage your pump, but uh, actually, after we looked at that, we kind of looked at the new one they have out now, and it's actually got a base on it. Not feet, but a base foot. A foot, not feet. But uh, anyway, I got hold of uh, JB and uh, JB Industries, and I talked to a good fella over there named Dave. He's like the head of their tech support over there. And uh, he told me, he said, go out there, Fritz, look at your serial number, and if it's 0101 or above, that foot will, uh, the new foot they have for the new unit will work on this one. So uh, I got hold of the JB and uh, they were kind enough to, well actually I went over to Johnstone and uh, my buddy Billy over there ordered this for me and I uh, just got the foot for it. So uh, this should make uh, uh, setting this up and getting it stabilized a lot more easier than like this. So uh, here's the foot for it. I guess it'll fit like this so let me uh, get that dude on there and uh, let's see what we got okay y'all and I got another new uh, another new Christmas present for myself uh, 
a couple of the fellers on here have it and uh, I couldn't live without it so I had to go out and get it and I'll share that with y'all here okay y'all uh, I reckon we're ready to take this thing apart so uh, it's gonna be taking these two feet out here and this back foot here so what I guess I'll do is uh, I'll take my Phillips here and I'll go ahead and remove it and these came out pretty good the new uh, machine screws they sent me look like they have that star star in it so uh, I've actually got a uh, broke my star fitting out so I'll, I'll put them back in with that but uh, all right, y'all, just bear with me. I'll get these off, and shouldn't take me very long. Pop that dude off like that. Move my base over here. Pop this dude off. I can't believe they're uh, good and loose. I figured I'd have a hell of a time trying to get them out. But uh, I looked up in this foot here, and it's actually a, uh, a flathead. So let me change out my client here. And we'll go ahead and get this puppy out. Come on, Brits. Hit the hole, everybody. There it is. Okay, y'all. Let me get this dude on here. And I'll get right back with okay, you. Okay, y'all. I got the center, uh, the bottom foot off. The back foot sits here on the motor. And I'm going to go ahead and get these puppies out. They pop out pretty easy. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, Get her base on there. Okay. Don't go hog wild with it, but we'll tighten her up a little bit. Okay guys, let's see how she does. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Oh that's next level y'all. Very impressed. Um, man, thank you Dave over at JB and appreciate it Eddie, that was a tight eye. It looks like she's even more leveler now too. That, uh, this foot here had like a, if you can see it, had like a kick to it, see? So basically the only thing that was holding that unit up was this. You're asking for it. So now we're good to go. If I did that with them feet on there, it'd be on the other side of that table. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. All right, y'all. Now I can store it in the side of my van. All right. Oh, let me uh, get this cleaned up, and I'll hey, show you. We got our good old JB back together again, our DV 200, and we got our base foot on it now. And uh, man, I'm just so impressed. Freaking awesome! Now uh, this nine-year-old uh, pump is updated to a 2012 model, so we're ready to rock. I um, wanted to share another tool with you before Eddie got over here. We're gonna have to do some running over to the parts house, and we're gonna make a sequel to Gone with the Wind Part Two. But uh, anyway, everybody knows what this is, and uh, you know this is our coil cleaner for our spring cleanings on our AC and heat pump units. Um, this would entitle us pouring our chemical in and then trying to get uh, the water holes or whatever you're doing in it. And I always had bubbles going everywhere. I couldn't quite get it right. And uh, had a good buddy of mine on here, uh, John Israel, uh, turned me on to this. Um, I had to get it. Uh, Zach actually went out and got him one too. And Eddie said he's had his for like three or four years since they came out and he swears by it. And uh, he said he can't live without it. So went out and went to Johnstone when I got my foot and uh, got, got me this new uh, Calgon coil gun. So uh, <laughs> I actually had to, uh, to call Zach uh, this morning. Uh, I'm sorry to bug, bug you, Zach. But uh, called him this morning. I was having kind of a little bit of a time putting this dude together. And I mean, frick it, it it's idiot proof. But nonetheless, you know, I had a little trouble with it. And what gave me trouble was this dude right here. It's called the uh, the deflector. Man, I tried to plug this deflector in everything. and But anyway, I might demonstrate how to just put it together real quick if y'all want to see it. Um, basically what you do is you take your... Uh, your uh, let's see siphon tube and you put it into the back right here onto your uh, 
mixing head. I guess you job that dude in there real good. Let's see. Okay, got her in there tight. So we'll just put it down into our uh, bottle here. Get her on there. Good to go. Okay, and what was giving me fits, man, was uh, it uh, in the instructions, it's telling you to put this deflector head on, and I'm like, well, okay, no problem. I'll put the deflector head on, and uh, it said to put it over this doodah. Well, I did, and I put it on like so, and it pops right on there. So I got to thinking, well, oh, okay, so I got the deflector head on there. Now let's put this, uh, the foam wand on it. Well, I'm going, well, heck, that ain't going to work, man. You know, I'm, I don't want to probably sound like a fool, but, you know, <laughs> I usually go putting stuff together before I read the directions. But anyway, I talked to, talked to Zach, and he said he did the same freaking thing. So, uh, basically, uh, I probably won't even be using this. I think it's for, like, a wide pattern spray. But, basically, you just take your, uh, your foam wand here, and you pop the puppy on there. There it goes. It clicked. So, then you do that, and then you take your sprayer handy dandy sprayer here and you just pull back on this pop it right over this brass fitting and you're good to go okay so, y'all I've been using this stuff it's called uh, new Calgon uh, environmentally friendly cow green a natural green condenser coil cleaner okay and if you remember on John's video on your uh, on your coal gun here it actually has a, a ratio rate to what you're going to be doing and uh, it says uh, A is 3 to 1, B is 4 to 1, C is 6 to 1, D is 9 to 1, E is 10 to 1. And you just come over here with your indicator and you, there's A, B, C, <laughs> there's Ed. Alright, so uh, what you do is you set it on there and you find which particular one you want to use. On John's bottle, it looked pretty easy. Um, it actually told it, told him exactly what the ratio was. On here, you got to kind of freaking read it. Um, even though cow green, yada yada yada, prepare mixing solution one part to three parts water. So that would be uh, number A. So y'all would be uh, ready to use it up. All right, man. Uh, I recommend Eddie going to head over to the parts house. So uh, we'll talk to you on the on the next one coming up, which will be. Uh, the uh <laughs> gone with the wind part two uh, uh, stopped over here at hay baker eddie had to get some parts for his uh vacuum pump so uh figured i'd shoot this they're a bryant distributor eddie officially jealous again <laughs> he's, he's done up me again <laughs> all right so we just got a new vacuum pump i'm gonna try it out we just put some new oil in it but to know if your oil is good or not, you should be able to pull a vacuum down to 50 microns. If you can't get it down to 50 microns, your oil is bad. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up and see what it'll do. Dag on, Ed. She took off to the races. Yeah. Uh, he just picked up this pump. It's the JB Eliminator. It's an awesome freaking pump. 4 CFM. Got the same foot pattern I got on my JB. You got good oil in there. Yeah, cool. Oh, like yeah. I said, now if I couldn't get it down to 50, you'd have to put some new oil in it. This oil looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, oil, a lot of different oils have, uh, to me, like looks like it might have a different characteristic of color, but look at the comparison to that. And I'm used to the JV oil, which is totally clear. Right. So when you look at this, it just looks like it's funky. But yeah, looks like somebody you know, pissed in it or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I think That's I, just the oil, whoever, you know, it's just... I think you're good, Eddie, too. And I usually, like, when I see water or anything in it, we'll see, like, bubbles, you know, flowing all up and down through here, too. So, I think you're good, brother. I think you did good. You got you got another great purchase. Yes, sir. Y'all, we're going to check mine, too. Eddie's got his uh, Inficon on there. Got that little uh, fitting on there we got from SWH. So, let's see how my old's looking. Boom, with the quickness, 50, 48. And what Eddie? So could be good. Yeah. What Eddie was talking about too. See, on this I put the JB oil in it. Not that oil I had, and it's it's almost you know it's clear. So I think we're good on that too. Ed. I think yep. we're good to rock. Damn, dude, that is the setup, man. What you, what you got here, Ed? Break it down for us. All right. So I called Appion, and he gave me the okay. 
to hook it up like this. So I'm not, to keep me from buying more hoses, I, I want to utilize the hoses that I've got. So I'm going to use my 3 8 hoses to the equipment. This is, pretend this is my condensing unit. Then I'm going to use my vacuum hose, a half inch, got the 3 8 quarter inch. I'm going to use that on my recovery machine going to the machine. Then I had to buy me an adapter here. I may have put on too tight. No. Mm -hmm. So I was able to increase it. Yeah, there's a female male, so I'm just able to screw that onto my quarter inch. So I have three eighths. Rock and roll. So I'm gonna go from three eighths to the quarter inch, which is gonna go to my recovery tank. Absolutely, man, that's gonna so be freaking intense. Use the hoses that I've got. I'm gonna try. We're gonna test it all different ways, but yeah, I think this is gonna work. Oh yeah, I can't wait to do that, man. We'll uh, we'll have all kinds of configurations way. on it and be good to go. All right, man. Y'all stay tuned. This is probably coming up this weekend. I hope we get time. Of course, uh, what's Thunder over Louisville this weekend? Yep, going yeah. to Thunder. Yep, so it might be. Y'all might have to stay tuned for a little while longer. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all. Uh, here's Eddie's new nice Mega Flow. Uh, it's a beautiful unit. Man, he's set up 3 8 3 8 half. Man, he's ready to rock. Um, while we were out today, Eddie said, well, heck with it, Fritz. He went ahead and uh, gave me his uh, Brutes, man, the Brute twos, and I really appreciate it, Eddie. Okay. Uh, and we actually got these fittings, the 3 8 3 8 3 8 so I can actually pull similar to what he's going to be pulling to with on the mega flow so once we get everything organized and get a few more things we're going to shoot y'all some uh, some video on this so uh all right stay tuned y'all thanks for watching